<laughs> All right, I'm not sure how well this is going to turn out because it's raining like hell at the moment. But uh, this is the underglow on my bike that I installed. Uh, I forget what uh, what brand it is. I'll add it in the description. But it has several different settings. Starting off with red, then green, blue, amber. This right here is, uh, I'm not quite sure, like red and green. Those are the LEDs that are on right now. I'm not sure what color it's supposed to be making. And right here's a purple, orange. This is like a cyan for a teal. Uh, here's another shade of green. It's with the green and amber light on. This is uh, on the camera. It looks like it's a harsher purple. And this right here is uh, all three: the red, blue, and the green. So it's a white. Here's red and green on. This is making a yellow light. Here's another shade of purple. And this right here is cycling through all of the colors. And you can actually see if I can hit the controller right. Because I'm holding a box over everything. You can speed it up or slow it down. On to the next setting. It's just these going up and down. I don't know how well it's going to look on the video, but it starts out red, then red, green, then red, green, blue, then red, green, blue, amber. And this is just them flashing in a random motion. And this is sort of similar to hazard lights. So it's blinking amber, then staying solid amber. That was blinking amber, staying solid blue. Blinking amber, staying solid green. Amber, solid red. And now this is pulsing through the colors. You can speed that up or slow it down. And then this right here is just going through the different possible combinations one after another. And then we're back to the default setting, or the first setting rather, which is red. It's a very nice kit. It wasn't expensive at all. I think I paid 40 bucks for it. Includes six tubes of LEDs, the controller and the remote, and all the wiring, as well as the 3M tape to mount it to the bike. I mean, completely worth it. As you can see on the bike, they replaced the... Actually, I don't know if you can see it. But they replaced the front turn signals with LEDs and replace the front halogen bulb with a xenon bulb, but left it in the reflector housing. But that's everything. Bye-bye. And I would like to say that this video was, in fact, filmed on a potato.